Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Cha Cha. Today I am chasing some big fish on some big old structure and specifically bull redfish at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel and I am super stoked because I haven't really chased them here during the fall. It's the fall period right now and those fish are working their way out of the bay and they're stopping at the bridge for their last snack and I'm hoping that we have a good day today. Stay tuned guys, I will be on the water in just a second so I'll meet you out there. All right, well we just got to where we wanna start fishing at the pilings here and we're just gonna start slow jigging these pilings and I think Grant and I are gonna leapfrog from each set of pilings to the next, so see if we can get into anything. Got him. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, on the back side, right behind it. Yeah. Now we're gonna be okay if we just stay in the middle here and not go back to the pilings. Oh God. Getting close to these other pilings now. This might get a little interesting here. He's just hugging the bottom. He's dogging me. Never hooked one in real deep water like this. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There she is. <sighs> and my arm is definitely feeling it. When they start doing those like Oh my god, dude. It's so fat. <sighs> Probably gonna go out. Go out behind you. Yeah. Just grab her by the leader like that. Yeah, she can't go to work. Yes, dude. Yes! Oh man. Alright. Come on up here. Yeah, buddy. Slimy lap dance. That's a big girl. It's not drumming either, is it? No. That's a girl. She's got that old gray, old drum color, but she's she don't have a bark on her. That's an upper bay fish. There we go. That fish is so fat. <laughs> Dude, it is so fat. Oh, what a beauty. Nice. That's what we're looking for, baby. You. All right, baby. I'm not going to measure. Actually, I have. Oh no, they all fell off. That fish looks like 48, 49. Yeah. She's really, I mean, she's not super long. She's just it's fat. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave you right on here. You might try to get a picture of your tail if you let me real quick. Down with 
see you, baby. Oh, oh my gosh. If that doesn't get my heart pumping, I don't know what will. Holy heck. Oh, that was awesome. She like, didn't really like take off. And it's right behind that piling and she ate it right off the bottom and then felt tension, set the hook. And she just kind of just hugged the bottom and just started cruising and towed me. I don't know how far, but I'm a happy guy right now. That is for sure. Right. Oh. Yep, this one's a goner. Definitely was a timely operation. Getting retied here. What the heck is going on? But got this two ounce high octane teardrop jig with a seven inch sexy mullet Z Man diesel minnow. That's what that last fish ate. So I'm gonna get back to the pilings and start jigging again. Yeah, this current is definitely starting to slack off now. Definitely starting to die down now. I can tell my bait is getting down there a lot easier. But I'm gonna keep working the pilings this direction until it officially flips to the outgoing. And then I'll reverse and do the same thing on the other side, just letting my bait drift down the current right along the pilings. I caught that fish pretty early. So, if there's not any more willing to eat during the incoming, hopefully when that tide flips and starts getting going outgoing, have some more action. Does Grant have one right now? Oh, he does. Grant's on right now. What is that, a tog? Oh, a black drum. Hell yeah, dude, that's a nice one. Hell yeah. Oh, really? Oh, gotcha. Yep. I hooked it, I was like, I've done foul hooked the drum. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is not good. Last year I uh, came down here, got him. What the hell? No, it was like a spade fish. What the hell? <laughs> I don't I don't know if he was snagged or Yeah. I was not expecting that. Grant's hooked up on one right now. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. That's a long one. Yeah, definitely. If I lap and their tails on the hatch, that's a big bitch. Yeah, definitely over 45. You. Look good. Yes, sir. I would hold her out, but I don't think I got it in there. <laughs> I do. That. That's how I felt about that fish earlier. I'm like, dude, it's staying on my lap. <laughs> oh, got him. I don't know. No, I think my my line was just like. Yeah, yeah, so it felt like it was moving one way. No, dude, there's a there's a fish on here. 
I think unless I just pulled yeah what the hell why did it feel like I was snagged yeah dude look at that thing this guy was a trickster nice dude back to back let's go No. It On his tail? The whole forehead's gone. Oh, I thought you said his tail. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, he is banged up. Dude, this whole... Dude, he got bit in the head by a shark. The whole underside of his chin is ripped open. Jesus. I mean, he didn't get bit while I was fighting him. Right, right. He started to heal, but holy crap. I don't know if I've ever caught one that way. What a trooper. Look, at, look under his chin. Wow. Yeah, he got bit like right in the face. His whole head was in a shark's mouth. <laughs> That's the problem with the rabbits. Every creek will have a problem. Hello. Got him. Oh, it's something small. Not a drop. <laughs> it's that it's something solid though, kinda though. Might be a I don't know. It's a big flounder. flounder? Yeah. I'm not a big flounder, but... Nice! Nice little surprise. It's awesome. Definitely a nice surprise. He fought hard, too. Yeah, he did. He fought really, especially like a little into the fight. Didn't want to let up. See you, buddy. All right, everyone. Well, that is going to be a wrap for me today. Grant left a little bit ago, and I kept fishing for another hour or two, but no other action. Tried going a little shallower, tried a little different presentations, but didn't seem like the fish wanted to cooperate after earlier in the morning. Um, but it was still a super fun day. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. And I will see you next time.